And my name is Ariana Smith. And my name is Isis Vandalay Asante. My name is Caesar Stewart. And I am a freshman here at the Piney Woods School. I've always had an immense interest in agriculture, and coming to Piney Woods really helped me to like explore that a bit more. There's actually been a lot of different opportunities. You can come here, you can ride the horses, you can feed the, um, the cows and things like that. And you know, we grow a lot of plants and vegetables. We had to grow some greens and we had to uh, go pick them off the little plant things and put them in a little basket and stuff like that. It's pretty fun here. Yeah. Because I come from the north, it's more of a city. I've never really been introduced to the country life. And so being able to be involved in that and engaging in that has really opened my eyes to a whole new lifestyle that is more than just sitting in a field pouring water on plants. It's, it's a business. I've been involved in NCRS, which is a program that we have with the USDA, and we check soil levels and stuff like that, and we learn the different type, and we really just learn how to take care of our environment and sustain it. Something that surprised me was like, we was learning about soil with uh, Mr. Benson. He told me that it took about four years for one inch of soil to grow, and I was just like, wow, it just take that, it takes that long for just that little bit of soil, and it was, he was like, it's really important. It really affects the environment a lot because when you have healthy soil, it means that the animals are also healthy because that's where they get a lot of their sustenance from. And it also means that we'll be more healthy because we eat tons of vegetables. When the soil's healthy, we're going to be healthy. There was one workshop where I went to and they taught us how to put a seed into the tractor. And it told us how they put the rows in a field and plant the seeds and then they, how they generate in this down the third and how they upkeep the soil and the seeds and how they grow it so that they can produce and sell to different stores and companies. I remember when I first got here I wanted to be a lawyer and then it switched over to like more of an agricultural based and health. I feel like as a career I definitely want to work with probably the UN or like another like non-government organization. I definitely want to help with sustainability and stuff like that, especially in other um, less developed nations and helping to like rebuild the economy by rebuilding their agriculture industries. So I want to help them rebuild that and create a better life for the people there. By the time I'm a senior I would probably like to see more people at the farm growing more plants and making it like this place more resilient to humans and things like that. I do feel like the farm is most definitely a benefit. It is very hands-on with the kids. It's different. If you're being told something taught in a classroom, like in normal public schools, you're taught this is how seeds grow, this, that, and the third. That's one thing. But then to teach it and have the kids do hands-on activities with it, that's a whole new level of learning. The farm is very, is very valuable because, I mean, who knows what's to come next in this world. I may need it one day, and then even if I don't need it, I could teach it to, you know, younger children or my children even, and they might need it one day.